Welcome back to Heist at Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. And, um. No, we've been in the. Oh, we. That's the captain of the guards' room, not the security room. That's why I was confused, yeah. So I didn't have anything security related. Security room was back this way. And. If I remember correctly, I couldn't get into it. Alright, two guards that go up and down this hallway. I don't know how far up they go. They're kind of inconvenient right now. I'm just gonna have to wait for them. Ultimately, we're still trying to get to top floor where the gallery is. But I'm pretty sure it's a long, a long way off, not just in terms of physical distance. Um, Alright. Don't know what. I have no idea what the sponge and lime is for. Chief of Staff. So that's locked, and I don't have a key for it, and I can't pick it. Could try breaking it down, but it seems, you know, not really the done thing. So these beams here, which I could check above to see if there's anything happening there, but I don't think there is. So this is the security room, security office. Which I can get in. And there's something important there which I can't get access to. I mean, unless some of these can be chopped down. No. Uh, so I'm kind of stoned, really. Oh, I know I commented on the uh, the pattern on these banners before. It's uh, a Hilbert curve. At least the black line is a Hilbert curve, and the two red lines are intersections of it. Which is. Uh, if you take more iterations of the same pattern, uh, it gets denser and denser while still occupying the same space, and eventually, with the, oh, we've got the same pattern actually here on the walls here. Eventually, with an infinite number of iterations, it will uh, cover a finite amount of space with infinite density. All right, this is the administration. Another room I can't seem to get access to. So. I do like the stair, it's, it's very cool. Very uh, oddly shaped, but it's very cool. Oh, that's the, that's the button that will open it. It's just kind of awkwardly. Oh, oh hello. That's nice, that's more. I was coming to look to see if there's anything, you know, hidden switches or anything like that around that statue, but no, some people have thrown money at it. Must be good luck, for me at any rate. Uh, right, so notice Kevil, right, was telling us some stuff. Penthouse access code. Note the dots and dashes. Dot, dot, dash, dash, dot, dot. That actually gives me an idea. This is the way to get to the penthouse elevator, right? Maybe we can actually use that pattern to get into the penthouse. Maybe I was uh, too dismissive. No. Never really anything. Alright, up an infinite number of floors. You know, I'm still surprised at how quickly that, uh, that works. Right, there is a guard. Oh, it's pretty dark here, so that's okay. Should hopefully be safe. What's the note? Dot, dot, dash, dash, dot, dot. Okay, let's try that. Ha ha ha! Alrighty. Honestly, it should not have taken me that long to put two and two together for that. Me of all people. Oh, no, 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 there's nothing there. Because, um. It was, in fact, uh. That's actually a script that I wrote for a true file not quite some time ago. I had no idea how he was planning to use it in the mission. He wanted something with that that could recognize dat and dosh patterns of, of holding buttons. So this must be guards areas, right? I mean, it said, it said penthouse, but it's clearly not where the guests would be. And do I have a key that makes sense? Nope. 
Oh, armory. This uh, ambient music is a little too loud. Close for comfort. Uh, more keys. This is a. Uh... You know what? I have a water arrow. Let's use it. There's money, not noise. Somebody's making money. You don't have a key, do you, man? You don't appear to. Did I miss any money on those tables? Nope. Right, is there any money on this one? Oh, there is another door. I didn't. I, I missed that. Where the hell are you? Got your friend coming through. Someone say something. 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 Do you have a key, by chance? No, you don't. All right. Let's try picking it once he's gone back down the hall. Alright, also another door I'm gonna need a key for. They're uh, pretty uh security is I guess pretty tight here. Well that's not an infinite stairway. Get up there in a minute. I do want to check out the rest of this room out here. Oh, there's more guards out there than just this one. So we've got three locked doors there, four locked doors there. Oh, hello, two guards. Cautious, be cautious, guard. And another stairwell. Uh, okay, if we go down from here. Don't tell me it's another infinite one. No, thankfully. Back to work indeed. Access to the gallery of mathematical curiosities is restricted. Admittance is granted only at the discretion and express written permission of Professor Hilbert. Please direct all inquiries to my office, Sir Riemann, Chief of Staff, Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. So there's no way I'm going to be able to pick this one, right? Oh, okay, I can. Is that a guard here in here? Yes. Where does he go? It's hmm. Back and forth, quite brightly lit. I don't. Oh, careful, guy! Don't do your accidental fling. The chamber of the Aller Stone is strictly off limits unless accompanied by hotel staff. Under no circumstances is anyone to enter without the express permission of Professor Hilbert. Caution, looking at the stone is dangerous and not recommended. The hotel is not responsible for any physical or mental injury sustained during your visit. I can't get in there. There's a pattern I don't recognize. There's a Sipinski gasket. There's a three-dimensional Sipinski gasket. Oh, it's comfortably dark here. Yeah. Oh my god, this music is way too loud. Hang on. Yeah, it's quieter now. It's good. I can. What's this room? Uh, more, more of the gallery. So we're in the actual gallery now. Okay. So through there is the Aleph Stone. Cantor's Temple. 
Painting undergoing restoration. The Manga Sponge is a 3D extension of the counter set. That's a Manga Sponge, not a Super Ski Counter. I got it wrong. Whatever. This Super Solid is famous for its unusual physical properties. It has infinite surface area and zero mass. Do not touch. A hefty shock awaits any patron whose curiosity gets the best of them. Well, you know, now I've got to try. Ah. You're right. Shocking. Noise now? Well, maybe that's just the security. Yeah, the security on it. I'll try and go through that curtain now while his back is turned. Oh, hello. More guards. More fractals. And this is, uh. Hmm. Everyone is complaining about the smell when I come here. That's very impolite. Do you hear that? It's going to be a little hard to get a close look at these things. Where's that fella? Yeah, all right. With uh, you guys standing watching, so no. Yeah. Very pretty. Very colourful. Hello. What have we got here? Dear valued guest, in light of a recent mishap, the whole of the platonic crystals is closed until further notice. Please understand that this decision was necessary in order to ensure the safety of all patrons. A tumble out of an Omega gallery window is in no one's best interests. We appreciate the disappointment this may bring, but are not providing refunds at this time. If you wish to reschedule your Omega gallery special event until after the exhibit reopens, we will waive the typical change fee. Warmest regards, CF Gauss, gallery curator. Very dimly lit ducts. Is that a passage now? It's just blank drab grey basically. Oh that goes up, okay. And it's locked. Who would look a vent? I guess anybody who doesn't want someone crawling through it. Where is this? Doesn't seem to take me anywhere useful. We've got hammerites. Well, the hammerites had one of the suites, of course. I don't think I'll be able to get down from there in any useful fashion. Let's try this way instead. Oh, hello. This is the Aleph Stone Chamber. Already? I feel like I'm missing something important. Um. Hmm. Flashing is disconcerting. Uh, is this wood that I'm on? Can't tell. No. So if I get down, can I get back up again? I don't know. I can't actually see to get down. You know what? Let's make a hard save just in case, just in case I mess it up. Ah, uh, that's the room there. Damn, fake. Ah. 
We must know, we will know, we must know, we will know. It's a fake, but it's an eight ball. We got another key. I don't know which. We're highly visible to here too, if any guard happens to look. What's this note say? Brewer, the new security protocol you designed is genius. I would never have thought to use your painting as a method of egress. You've proven to be a worth, most worthy acolyte. In thanks, I bestow upon you the honour of transporting the stone to its new home in the West Wing. Please see to it at once. If you need to borrow the spectacles to give the security system a final test, they're in my office safe. Please find the access code in the attached poem. Be sure to dispose of it once you've committed it to memory. Note that the poem is only a mnemonic and not a list of instructions. Don't you dare touch any of the books in my library if you wish to remain in my good graces. H. Huh. Uh, spectacles for the security system, a painting as method of egress, mnemonic poem as a list, as an access code to the office safe. Hmm. And you died of something. Quite definitely dead. What is all this we must know, we will know? Right, I guess that's why I came in up there. Well, it would clearly... I said it couldn't be that easy, and... to get the stone, and quite evidently, it is not that easy. Alright. Nobody look at that, right? Nobody notice there's anything amiss there. I think I'm just going to knock this guy out for uh, convenience. <clears throat> Well, I could get down into that bit of the gallery with pain, but there's, man, there's a ton of guards there. At least four. Someone else standing around as well. Yeah, I don't think that's pro a promising way forward at this point. Oh, hello. Oh dear. Try jumping to those, it seems foolish and pointless. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, not quite what I meant to do, alright, but it works. Made that jump a little easier anyway. Let's uh, be dangerous. Careful, Garrett. Whoops. Uh, well, I think we're falling down an infinite distance. That was a very finite distance. Surprisingly finite. Okay. Well, it happens, you know, if you climb an infinite tower, you will fall. I'm... I'm slightly uh, surprised and very slightly disappointed there wasn't a teleport thing happening there as well for um, the sake of an infinite fall. Alright, that's that jump's gonna be hard. How do I do this one? One more, we'll get us. Oops. No, let's not accidentally fling ourselves off by leaning. One more jump will get us to this part that was sealed off. Surely, surely you can make that jump go. Surely you can. Oh. Well. In a manner of speaking. That seems like not a good way to do this. Do I have, what do I have in the way of healing? One healing potion. Well, let's let's live with it. Live with our mistakes. Oh, there's the mages. Oh, these are the mega sweets. Hmm. 
Hmm. Practicing your magic, all right? I don't have a key. Okay. Hope you're not talking to me. Spring sweet key. Oh, did he see me? Did he see me? Hello, is a dead guard? I guess maybe they didn't see me. He's got a key, the winter sweet key, I guess. Interesting. What have these mages been doing in here? The muse of the four seasons on a rainy spring's night. And the painting is missing. Right, we got it. Uh, for some reason I thought they'd turn around. I'm facing... They're, uh, I don't know what they're... What they think they're attacking, but they uh, clearly... Think they're attacking something. Esteemed mages of air and water, combine your powers to shroud the hotel in a thick fog. Hold it as long as you are able. Professor Hilbert cannot be permitted to gain access to the temple. If he manages to read the codex, all will be lost. We will not risk allowing the corruptor's mind to take mortal form again. Professor Hilbert has not yet discovered all of the paintings, but would be best to hide the one in your suite just in case. If he should discover it, your efforts will have been in vain. We will be there to take the hotel soon. Use whatever force is necessary to fulfill your duties until our arrival. Yours sincerely, Archmages Kronecker and Poincaré. Hmm. So they're creating the fog. That's what they're doing. I've hid the painting somewhere in this region. I wonder if they hid it on top of the bed. Doesn't look like it. So if they're creating the fog, and we don't want them to create the fog, or maybe we do want them to create the fog, I don't know. But knocking them out would presumably uh, silence the fog. I'm close. All right, I don't like this uh, dead guard here. I mean, not that I dislike him. I don't like the fact that there is a dead guard here. Seems uh, liable to cause trouble if anyone sees it if I open the door. So let's keep moving to the darkness first. We have the key for this suite. The winter suite key, oops. I do now, because that guard had it on him. There's two people in there. I thought I heard more footsteps. Who's in the winter suite? I don't recall. Lady Valerius, maybe. Hmm. Footsteps have gone silent. Is she coming or going? I don't know. Yeah, it gets very quiet when she gets in there. So let's wait for her to go again and then I'll take this guy out of the room. Uh. 
Just so she doesn't see the body. Yeah, so it's Lady Valerius that was complaining about the mazes, wasn't it? Well, it's much too bright here. Steal her valuables, that's for sure. So, does she have one of these paintings that's. I don't know what their relevance is, but it is relevant. Perhaps up in that alcove she's wandering into. Which would be a very awkward place, because it's very bright in here and very hard to get in there. Let's see what's up with this music box. Yes, yeah, she's looking at a painting. Nothing is up with that music box. Carefully now, Garrett. We have more arrows. Hmm. This is not. Nah. I'm gonna need to knock her out. I don't see any other any way of actually uh, sneaking past her here. It might be possible, but it would be exceedingly awkward. What, what's the painting? The Muse of the Four Seasons on a snowy winter's night. Oh. Something can be done with it, uh, but I don't know what. Okay. Well, if she's knocked out, then uh, she won't get in our way anymore. Well, that's the two suites we actually have a key for. I hope there's more healing on this level somewhere. What are these fancy lampshades? Any more moss? Uh, yes, indeed. That is very appreciated. Glad the gardeners haven't been too conscientious in clearing out the crystals growing there. Hello. How far do you go, man? Oh, certainly far enough to be a nuisance. Was that you saying? I didn't quite catch it. Uh, again, too touchy. All right, this must be the autumn suite, which I don't have the key for. And then this would be the summer suite, I guess, which I also do not have a key for. Right now, I have a problem in that I'm on the wrong side of this gate and I don't see any way to open it from here. I can't believe you lock all your guests in. Uh, it may not be a... What's the word? Terminal problem. Let's go out this way. Ah, it doesn't really matter which way I go. One or the other. Get out of the balcony. Should I stop them with their fog creation? I don't know, I could just continue along this... I was going to say, I could just continue along this ledge, but it stops. Okay. 
So yeah, at the moment I don't know why I would need to stop the fog, but the ledge does continue. Although I could just try and be sneaky. Did they hear that? Darkness shall overtake you. No, okay, good. Oh. Slight room brushing error. Hello, there's a window I can open and get in. I call upon the elements to smite Interesting. See where else I could get to from here first. If anywhere. Nowhere, that just ends. Alright, let's go up there. Let's hope these guys aren't looking to the left very much. Let the darkness take you. Wait for the footsteps to die away a bit too. Seem to uh. right, so he did see me, and this window is getting me stuck again in the worst possible way. Goodbye. So they see me. Let's fix that. Are we? Return to the eternal fire, invader. Now you be nice and quiet. All right. So it's kind of unfortunate trying to get in the window is just just mantling problems and. Yeah, I can't quite stand. I'm kind of half on the edge here. And there's a hammerite coming. He may or may not bump into me. And I can't use my thing because I'm not actually properly on the ground. Well, that's fine. This window's not quite big enough. Breezy Autumn's Night, okay. Don't know what to do with these paintings. Is it really dark enough here? I don't know. I could throw you off the off the uh, outside. That would be kind of funny. But this is the awesome suite, which I could not did not have the key for. So hopefully, maybe the key's in the bedroom. Now oh, some gold is in the bedroom. How did you wake up and see me there? Come and get me, man. Do I have any flash bombs or anything? I've got an eight ball. Well, there isn't any shadow here for me to stay in, apparently. Oh, there is here. Intruder. Oh, you saw me, did you? Unfortunately, being a ranged attack, you're going to be a nuisance, aren't you? You know what? This is why I'm playing on hard. I mean, technically, you're unarmed, but. Uh, you are uh, certainly not innocent. Yeah, crumble. Let's uh, dispose of the evidence, shall we? And uh, you're a witness. So I'm sorry, but you will have a nice long life falling. Uh, 
Okay, uh, so because he just suddenly woke up, despite me not really making any noise I could hear, I did what I had to do. Too bad for them, right? Alright, so that's the autumn suite. There's another ledge. There's another balcony. We seem to be away from the streets now. What is there a hammerite chapel? Any guards in it? Oh, this is just part of the gallery. Okay, good. Because it's just a hammerite themed portion of the gallery. Stairs up to the upper floor. It's noisy. Oh, good. Are any of these paintings important? I don't know. This is where there are lots of guards wandering around. Which is not conducive to uh, puzzle solving at all. It's a very large open space, guards in all directions, guards patrolling. Who knows where. I feel like I should uh, take some efforts to reduce the number of guards. But maybe I don't have to. If they go in there, I can come this way. And just stare at the spotlights. Are any of these paintings relevant to anything? Perhaps they're just paintings. Has he got a key? He's got something on him. A note, perhaps? Alright, that was the summer suite, perhaps? Something another sweet key. Sweet key. Now, if I'm careful, I could get into that shadow, I think. Without the guards at the door seeing me, or the, even this pair seeing me. Let's give it a try. Hello? Well, seeing me is, is relative. We have a fake eye, a fake horn of Quintus, a fake gold skull, a fake Baffert scepter, a fake hand of glory. A real piece of uh, necklace and a real talk. This is okay. I don't mind the fake stuff if you got real stuff to steal. Any other artifacts to steal? Now the rest looks like paintings. I would like to go behind those two. Although I might have to wait for these patrollers to go. Yeah, let's let's be patient. Wait for them to pass. Oh, there's a hole upstairs there as well, which maybe takes us to the part we couldn't access: the platonic solids, platonic gems, whatever they were called. I don't know. Come on, guys. Go f turn away. That's right. Good. Is that you? Alright, that's the sweets. Do I have a key for it? Any Omega Sweet key opens that gate. Great, so I can go back to the, the sweets more easily now. I couldn't open that from the other side, but I could open it from this side, so it's all good. What is this? Emergency power reset. There's another one. Why is it... Let's pick the lock in case I need it, but why are there emergency power resets? I don't understand. I haven't seen any 
needed to do anything with the power, let alone reset it. Gallery and suites and the lobby. Okay, so this is this is this lift, which now that I have the Omega Suite keys, I can access. All right, I need to go past these guys again. So I guess I'll wait for their patrolling friends once more. Who are on their way? Because I want to go and investigate that staircase. I suppose I could go the long way around, but out the suites again. In fact, I've got, I have another suite key, so there's another suite I should investigate. Yeah, why not? Let's just go this way. So is he the only person who was in the summer suite? It was, uh, the summer suite was the Rothschilds, right? So it was Frederick, Juniper Rothschild the third, there in the gallery. And uh, what was her name? I don't remember. The Muse of the Four Seasons on a Quiet Summer's Night. It's very nice of it to light up when you come near so you can see it better in the darkness, you know? I have no idea what is relevant to this painting, says the note says something about it, right? Uh, not that one. Uh, do I have the note that was that talked about the paintings? No, it was the major's note. Let's check out the bedroom. Alright, no mistakes this time. I don't want her suddenly waking up for no particular reason, like uh, the hammerite did. So let's make sure she sleeps soundly for the rest of the night. Uh, in bed. <laughs> very in, very much in bed. Ah, uh, but she's only got not very valuable valuables here, so. Fine, let's unlock the door. Check out this corner. Any more valuables? Nope. So this is perhaps a balcony I could have got to if I hadn't fallen before. Where does this take me? Ah, oh, that's the other one I've already been in, right? Yeah. That's Lady Valerius' is sweet. I'm cu quite curious. Okay, so the fog hasn't dissipated despite us knocking out those mages, which is, uh... Careful, Garrett. You want to mantle it, not miss and fall down to your death. And I'm quite curious about, uh, if it wasn't this far, what the view would look like from an infinite height like this. Hmm, this is risky. What was I saying? Well, the view looks like this. Alright, back here. I wonder if it's actually possible to get round here. Apparently not. Well. Oh, we do seem to be falling more or less infinitely now. Very good, I don't know what was wrong the first time. But, uh... Falling at dizzying speed. It's a long way down. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Hmm. Definitely a bit of a pickle. So I guess the other time when I didn't fall infinitely was just a bug. Ah, uh, well. 
fun. All right. I'm going to conclude that uh, it's not really possible to safely get around these. So let's let's head back. Not that I think I need to anyway, because uh, we've been to all the suites now. We have the keys for all the suites, we can go to all of them. We have access to three of the four paintings, I don't know where the major is at the last one. And we have access... Hello. Oh, that's just the way into the left. So now I'm a little confused. How did I get to the gallery? This way, I think. Or not. I've been here, surely there's a door open. Yeah, this was the hammerites. I must have locked the door behind me, or maybe I, maybe I didn't actually go out that way. Maybe I just came out this way. Yeah, that would be it. Right, so this gets us easy access to the stairs. Without bothering those pesky guards. Oh, hello. I think you thought wrong. There's no way to get around him, so... Uh... KO seems to be the best plan of action. Hmm. Half a level of the gallery, hello, what have we got here? You look valuable. Builder's hammer also looks valuable. The builder's chisel, probably also valuable. I could break those cases, but I would be certain to make noise. And there's a couple of guards here too. Private residence. Entry beyond this point is reserved for special events. Okay. This feels dangerous. Right, he's going on past me. Do they both turn their back at some point or not? Is it technically possible? Hmm. Wonder what that noise was. Okay, I guess. This is one of those situations where it feels like maybe it's possible to sneak it properly, maybe it's not. I mean, it's. Theoretically possible, um, but very satisfying to, to sneak, so I've got to try. Hmm? Hello? Hello? Oh, well. Very satisfying to do this stealthily instead of knocking everyone out. Good, good, good. That's not going to help me with the cases. Um, but maybe I don't need help with the cases. Can I just steal past you here? No. Out of my way, fool. You come up, come with me up here. What's 
Yeah. Access to the gallery of mathematical curiosities is restricted, yes. Oh. So I've been here. I guess I came in on that side. Alright, so we've got the, still got the question of... I guess I knocked out all the guards here then. Uh, I guess I can try my platforming again. That would get me to the gallery of mathematical curiosities. Right. The vent certainly didn't take me there, as I thought it would. Well, I mentioned if the security was on. Look at all these watches everywhere. Uh, some food or healing potions would be nice, but, you know. I guess if I can't make the platforming this time... Uh, you know what? This should be a good place for a hard save. Just in case. If I can't make the platforming this time, then... Um, no, 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 that was wrong. That was wrong. What was I saying? If I can't make the platforming this time, then maybe I'm just missing something about how to access that gallery. He says, like, so close together, it's tempting just to walk across them and be really reckless with the jumps and stuff. But, uh... Aha! That's the jump I missed last time. And fell to, well, initially my death. And then... Not my death. Aha! Oh, there's a broken window. Did someone else get thrown out? Yeah. Oh, not my problem. The tetrahedral amethyst is world renowned for its striking purple colour and four perfectly regular faces. And it's gone. The cubic emerald is world renowned for its dazzling green complexion and six perfectly regular faces. And it is also gone. The octahedral ruby is world renowned for its fiery red hue and eight perfectly regular faces. Guess what? It's also missing. Hello, what's this? Oh. That's the dodecahedral diamond, world renowned for its snowy white sparkle and 12 perfectly regular faces and the new objectives. Um, bonus, acquire all five of the platonic crystals. What? That should not be ticked off, I've just found one of them. Well, that's a bug. Uh, so we need tetrahedron cube Octahedral, octahedral ruby, icosahedral sapphire. Uh, icosahedral sapphire. Actually, I should write all these individually because then I can just erase them when I'm done, right? So these first two were tetrahedral amethyst. If I can spell amethyst. I'm an amateur at amethyst. Cubic emerald. Um, I have the Omega Switch key, I can get rid of that. Alright, save. So, none of the others are better. I've just fallen down the back of their things. So we got the dodecahedral diamond, but the rest of them have gone missing. I'm clearly hidden somewhere. Oh good, that means I don't have to platform my way back. They're clearly going to be somewhere around the hotel, but where and how and who stole them? Hmm. Questions, questions. Lots of questions. All right. So I've been down there, and I think the stairwell that's, um, you know what, let's put you with your friends. Well, let's put you here, let's blame you for this mess. 
Don't know who wrote that. Did it go up this level? No, I think it went down it. I came in halfway up it and then went down. I didn't go up. I have no idea where it goes. Oof. Still guards patrolling there. Just kind of the entrance hall to this area. Got some nice beams. This is the roof. Master Hilbert does not wish to allow the fog to intrude into his penthouse. Accordingly, the rooftop's wishing pond is off limits until the weather clears. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, I mean, the weather should be clear. I dealt with the. Um, So what's your McCallsons? Can I walk the sledge? I dealt with the mages. Oh, hello. Is that the same? That's not the same door I started out, is it? It's just also a double helix. Yeah. Nice, another double helix staircase. Uh, slightly more obvious, I think, than the previous one, but um, also good. Ouch. So where is this? And I don't have a key for it. Oh, I can pick it. I didn't want to take full damage there. I have little enough health, but I'll, I will live with it. I'm still alive. Oh. Oh. This is Master Hilbert's study. And we have the iterations of the Hilbert curve developing. We have... Uh... A mapping, bijective mapping of the, uh, the reels to the reels raised to an arbitrary power. We have more maths. He must know, or we must know, we will know. Hmm. We have a binary pattern. I wonder if that's relevant. Some highlighted numbers and diagonal. I don't know. Oof. Oh, hello. There's another painting. That's not one of the statue, though. And what's all this? To do, we must know, we will know. Prove that there exists no set whose cardinality lies between those of the reals and the naturals. Aha, so this is what they must know, what they will know. Prove the consistency of the ax axioms of arithmetic. Determine whether for any two polyhedra of equal volume, it is always possible to cut the first into finitely many polyhedral pieces that can be reassembled to yield the second. Construct all metrics where lines are geodesics. Determine whether all continuous groups are automatically differentiable groups. Mathematize the axioms of physics. Determine whether for any algebraic A01 and irrational B, A to the B is transcendental. Prove that the real part of any non-trivial zero of the Riemann zeta function is one half. Find the most general law of the reciprocity theorem in any algebraic number field. Find an algorithm to determine whether a given polynomial Diophantine equation with inter integer coefficients has an integer solution. Solve quadratic forms with algebraic numeral co coefficients. Extend the Kronecker-Weber theorem on abelian extensions of the rational numbers to any base number field. Solve the seventh degree equation using algebraic variant continuous functions of two parameters. Determine whether the ring of invariance of an algebraic group acting on a polynomial ring always finitely generated. Provide a rigorous foundation for Schubert's enumerative calculus. Describe relative positions of ovals originating from a real algebraic curve and as limit cycles of a polynomial vector field on the plane. Express a non-negative rational function as quotient of sums of squares. Determine the densest sphere packing. Determine whether the solutions of regular problems in the calculus of variations are always necessarily analytic. Determine whether all variational problems with certain boundary conditions have solutions. Prove the existence of linear differential equations having a prescribed monodromic group. Uniformize the analytic relations by means of automorphic functions. And then, finally, further develop the calculus of variations. 
Well, he's kind of stuck on point number one, which he must know, which he will know. Oh, what have we got here? Four buttons, four panels, and the safe. Oh, there was a, this is this this is this combination to a safe, right? With a poem which I did not find. And a book. Is it a diary? A journal? I don't know. However, right, well, let's see if I can find a uh, photogenic aspect of this room. Suitable for screenshotting. Yeah, uh, I think I like that. And uh, I will call the episode here. Thanks very much for watching. And I hope you'll uh, join me soon for the next episode of The Heist at Hilbert's High Rise Hotel.